at Moore Nanotechnology Systems. We design ultra-precision manufacturing equipment for the optoelectrical industry. Our equipment is very sensitive to low-frequency floorboard vibration. A temperature control is super critical, and so we had the luxury of building a modern, state-of-the-art manufacturing facility to suit our specific needs for our equipment. In the electro-optics business, it's all about ultra-precision. So we're talking about generating optical surfaces that are in the sub-nanometer RA type finishes, form accuracies in the sub-micron range. So we aligned ourselves with Delta Tau from the beginning of more nanotechnology systems. I came to Nanotech as a controls engineer with a lot of experience in Delta Tau products and have used that experience to help push the machine capabilities forward to the state they are in today. This machine is our 350FG product and is capable of machining a vast array of freeform optics and precision surfaces, virtually unlimited in shape and form. This is all linear motor driven. The vertical axis is actually an air bearing counterbalance. The Delta Tau Control provides a very nice layered loop structure to allow us to achieve equivalent performances of the horizontal axis with the vertical axis. We have a feedback resolution of 34 picometers and a basic servo noise floor of around 0.2 nanometers. My name is Michael Broshu. I'm an electrical engineer here. My involvement with this machine was on the electrical side. I did a new control system utilizing the Power PMAG. The primary goal of this machine is to get aspheric lens molds off of this machine that can be used with our glass press molding system. It's a typically a two axis machine, has a grinding spindle, we have built on metrology systems, dressing spindles for the actual grinding wheel to redress it, heading more towards automation on the machines. We wanted to definitely advance our technology and the way to go was to go with the latest and greatest control system out there. It increased our resolution. On our previous machines we used 34 picometer and on this machine we're using 8.4 picometer. This machine is the Nanotech 140 GPM. It's a glass press molding machine, which means it's got a chamber with IR light, so it heats up a, a gob of glass between two molds. With this machine, we can replicate the surface of the molds very, very closely. So what you put in for a mold, you're gonna get on your glass, down to the surface finish level. We wrote this entire front end ourselves, and the PMAC gave us the nice communications platform to be able to do that, that we could customize and write our entire front end and talk to the PMAC. We're using a UMAC, 240 megahertz turbo PMAC. We've got analog feedbacks for pressure transducers. We're reading analog for temperature sensors, etc. We were able to take whatever feedback source, cascade loops, wrap loops around it. And the beauty of the UMAC control is that it will handle all of that stuff. That kind of flexibility is what we get out of the PMAC. By working with a company like Delta Tau, who offers state-of-the-art, cutting-edge motion controls, we were able to incorporate that into the mechanics that we're so noted for. We try to align ourselves up with vendors that are going to last and stay with us and grow with us. We chose Delta Tau because they advance. They don't just sit still. 